Hi, thanks for watching our demonstration video on uncertainty visualizations for satellite operations. With the planned increase in on-orbit activities like satellite service and repair missions, there represents an increasing need for easy-to-interpret displays and visualizations. Satellite operators will need to understand how small uncertainties in planned actions, like an imperfect thrust of burn or noisy sensors, can impact future satellite states and actions need to be taken. Virtual reality can provide an immersive simulation of the environment. This simulation shown here combines human factor principles for 2D aerospace displays with the benefit of immersive virtual reality displays and is based on a high fidelity physics simulation of the orbits. This scenario is a demonstration of visualization capabilities and contains an example of some such potential uncertainties in satellite operations. Two satellites are in orbit about the Earth, the servicer on the left and the target or debris satellite on the right. The target is almost out of fuel and cannot communicate with Earth, so the servicer is sent to fix it. In this scenario, the servicer will perform a burn to enter the proximity orbit on the target satellite, which will allow it to enable a repair mission. There are some key things being visualized. The heads of display in the lower left-hand corner shows critical information about relative range, relative rates, and time to all spacecraft actions such as a thruster burn, a sensor update, or a potential collision. The heads of display is always in our same spot in the field of view, so even if I turn my head around to see other parts of the environment, I can always see this critical information in an easy to interpret manner. In addition, all actions like burns and sensor updates are in magenta, and all orbits and associated uncertainties are in balloon. We are approaching this burn right now, um, and there are some uncertainties associated with the burn, leading to an uncertainty in the future orbit, seeing this light blue cone that's propagating around our nominal orbit. There are also uncertainties in the target satellite, which is this yellow arrow ellipsoid, which will lead to a potential collision, which alert and notifies us of. The color of the ellipsoid helps to note if there's a collision risk, with yellow representing caution, red being a warning, and a white color being no risk. We can wait until more information can be gathered through the sensor update, which is that magenta cube, to see there's still a collision risk. <laughs> the operator has the ability to customize the display to turn on or off information as needed or bring up new pieces of information. In a menu system, they can toggle information about the states of the satellites, the environment, so things being visualized, as well as different uncertainties. And then they can also change the playback, menu, playback controls. Looking at the state menu, we can look at different information about the two particular satellites. For example, we can look at the telemetry, the fuel, telemetry and the fuel of the debris satellite and see that it is out of fuel and also has no telemetry. And so we can look at and see that we are operating under normal conditions right now. We can also look at how different uncertainties affect our visualization. So if we turn off the ellipsoid and the uncertainty orbit, we can now just see the nominal trajectory of the two satellites and relative to each other. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on so we can see what happens after the sensor update. In addition, the playback menu enables uh, to facilitate training. So I can go ahead and speed up the simulation some to get to the sensor update in a reasonable time, so we can see what happens. In addition, I have the ability to navigate and change my viewpoint, so I can go ahead and pan around and see what happens. So we can give an idea of the views and how the collision is relative to the orbits. In addition, I can change to a zoom mode to either zoom in or zoom out on the satellites. Finally, there are some predefined viewpoints that I can flip between and I'm going to go ahead and return to our original field of view. We are now just going to go ahead and wait for the sensor update, which will happen momentarily, to see, what, as we get more information, how our service orbit changes, instead of being its propagating cone, it might be constant, as well as how our update information on our target or debris satellite is, and see if there's still a collision risk, which there is no longer a risk of collision, because the two uncertainty areas do not collide. With that, thank you for listening to our demonstration, and here is some of our contact information.